one of the things that we struggle with when it comes to time management is the difference between having valid reasons for not doing what we need to do versus having excuses. So in reality, it doesn't really matter whether it's a valid reason that you're not studying or a valid reason that you're not doing that question or an excuse. The reality is that you're still not doing it. Okay. So it doesn't actually matter whether you have a valid reason for not doing that question. Um, you still haven't done it. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a valid reason for not spending that time on your studies, you still haven't done it. So whether it's a valid reason or an excuse, you're still not doing it. Now, there are lots of reasons, especially as a part-time student, you know, and as a distance learning student as well. Uh, there's a lot of reasons, you know, there's a lot of things going on in your life that, that prevent you from, from studying. And you cannot possibly, obviously, reasonably be expected to be studying 24 hours a day and, and, and you know, totally get that. The problem is that those reasons, those small reasons add up. Uh, you know, <clears throat> Monday you got home and you had a little mini family crisis and that meant that you couldn't, you know, that you couldn't do your work. Uh, Tuesday you left your textbook at the office uh, you know, Wednesday, wow, like Wednesday, you were just so tired. There's no point in studying when, you know, when you're so mentally tired, you need to just sleep and do it when you're fresh. Thursday, you weren't feeling well, something went wrong. Uh, Friday, there was, you know, some kind of work responsibility. You had to work overtime and so you couldn't study. And so each of those seem like valid reasons. You know, each of them are valid reasons that you didn't study. But the reality is that they add up to not doing it they add up to not actually studying. Whatever your reasons were during the week, the reality and the, the, the outcome, the consequence, is that you haven't actually studied for an entire week. And it's amazing how these valid reasons add up. You know, it doesn't matter how valid the reason is, you know, the reality is you're not going to do it. And as a lecturer, you know, where when I talk to students and, and when I ask them their progress, what they're doing, I keep getting these. Uh, I don't have time because my boss won't give me time of work, because my family, because this, because that, because the other, because, because, because. And all of them seem like valid reasons, one, 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 one. But what they add up to is a bunch of excuses. Why? Well, because at the end of the day, you're not doing what you set out to do. At the beginning of the year, you committed to doing that studies. And you committed to it and you, you should have sat down and thought about how much time you have available and how you're going to do this and what you're going to do. And um, now you're not doing it. So whether it's a valid reason or not, uh, you're not doing it. And either you need to accept that you're not doing it and come to terms with that and either stop studying or you need to get over it and realize that it may be a valid reason, but even a valid reason may not actually be a good enough reason not to do it. So the reason I'm emphasizing this, and it feels like maybe a weird thing for me to discuss, is that when I'm telling students they need to do something, they use reasons um, to get out of doing it. When I, when I chase them and I ask them, have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done this? Then they go, no, I couldn't do it because of X, Y, Z. And I can't argue with them and I can't say, well, oh, well, shame, there was a family crisis. It's okay. The exam doesn't care that there was a family crisis. The exam doesn't care that you were tired. The exam doesn't care about your overtime. The exam doesn't care about all your valid reasons. The exam only cares like that you did the study. Whether I'm okay with it or not as a lecturer is irrelevant. The exam doesn't care about your reasons. So be very careful about allowing valid reasons to get in the way of your studying and not pushing them and not driving and not being aware of the fact that whether it's an excuse or a valid reason, the consequence is exactly the same. It adds up to not doing it.